this is it that is the fried cassavas i didn't add any spice but i said you can add any spice to your liking and then this is what i'm going to onja onja hi guys a warm welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here kindly subscribe to this channel give a thumbs up to this video even before we begin it and don't forget to leave a comment down below kindly 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 hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you are not left out guys because this is the channel where you get educated entertained and informed at the same time so guys today i'm coming to you again from my kitchen and today we are going to to do something not so unique but something amazing that you guys can try out i'm going to throw down a recipe of cassavas deep fried cassavas i'm going to, to show you how i do it my way guys i know most of you guys maybe you just boil the cassavas and eat but you can also boil and deep fry them or you can some people bake them i've never baked by the way maybe you should try that out or what do you think guys leave a comment come on my bake i love maybe how it tastes so we are going to be um deep frying cassavas and before we deep fry we are going to boil them so welcome to this video guys and please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you welcome let's go to the ingredients guys so guys onto the ingredient the main one because we'll have some spices and some salt this is uh, cassava this cassava has been peeled washed split it into two then we removed the is it a what do we call is it the phloem or the xylem the capillary <laughs> <laughs> the, the capillary the middle thing that looks like um, a root at the center i don't know why we removed them leave a comment and let me know will you die if you consume that <laughs> so we've removed them washed them and then here we have them so what we are going to do guys we're going to pre-boil this with salt and water only till it's soft and tender in that when you dip a fork it's uh, going through so once it's uh, soft and tender we are going to deep fry so let's begin by boiling these guys then we proceed after it's ready i don't know how long it takes to boil i've never like uh, checked out how much time it takes to boil or maybe it depends on the amount of cassavas you have i don't know so we are going to boil this guys we're just going to cover it and let it boil with some salt had you added salt so we need uh salt to taste guys like that all over some people don't add salt it's still okay depends on how you want to consume it so this we've had we've added salt and we're just going to cover it and let it boil till it's soft and tender then we get back don't go away so guys uh we're back a few minutes later is it really a few yeah once it was uh, boiled caribou you over boiled my people as you can see so what you normally do you dip um a fork into your cassava if it can go through to the other side it means it's well cooked remember we boiled with some um some salt so at this stage what you're going to do you can season it with any spices maybe some paprika i don't know what whatever you like but myself i don't want to spice it today it just has salt so i'm just going to deep fry it as it is but you can spice it your way if you like so here we have some cooking oil that is uh, preheating. I believe it's already hot. Let's just test it if it's hot enough. We are using that to test, guys. So what we are going to do, you see? In fact, it's extremely hot than I thought. So we are going to go in with our cassavas, like that. You organize them in a manner that um, they are not on top of each other not unless you have like a lot of oil ensure each is submerged in the oil and once you do this do not corroga them 
do not stir them do not try mixing them or uh, moving over and over again so you're just going to let it settle like that uh heat up until uh it begins to to fry like in anza kukwa dry kinda so you'll i'll show you how what you're going to do to know that it's ready so let's just wait for it to cook on this side then we'll we'll turn So guys a few minutes later you can turn them as you can see it's fried on one side you can turn to the other side and uh, myself i don't like it uh, like completely fried like extremely crunchy as katiko is slightly crunchy but not dry we do have some softness inside so when you turn it's going to take just about just a minute before you remove them so let's give it just some few seconds because I don't want them to really dry so much. And then since it has some oil, you, if you have that katawel you extract oil, the better. If you do not, you can use a serviette. So you remove them like this. So I'm trying to oops sorry I'm trying to get rid of the excess oil okay. yeah sorry about that guys so after that you remember the remaining we do the same we deep fry them for the same amount of time don't make them so dry just a little bit crispy on the top especially if you added uh, some spices yeah so let's wait for this to be ready guys then i'm going to show you the final products so guys this is the final product the final result this is it that is the fried cassavas i didn't add any spice but i said you can add any spice to your liking and then this is what i'm going to onja onja to taste so i've just sprinkled some uh cinnamon powder and some is this ketchup no some sweet sauce so i'm just going to taste this meanwhile but this is how it looks this is the final thing you can uh, fry mash 
much darker than this but this is this is the best i believe or you can do less dry than this but for me i find this one being so nice because uh, it's not so hard it's not extremely soft and it does not like retain a lot of oil at this stage let me know guys how you normally make yours let me know in the comment section share with me what you normally do to yours and if you like this recipe do not forget to give a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends thank you guys for watching this video to the end until next time guys bye bye